No matter if you're buying a pair of shoes off the shelf or designing a pair of your own shoes, it's really important to think about the material that you've chosen for the place that you're going to be wearing the shoes and all that kind of good stuff. So these are just a couple of things to think about when you're considering material. The first thing to think about is where you're going to be wearing the shoes. And this sort of goes hand in hand with how frequently you're going to be wearing the shoes. So for example, if it's going to be an everyday shoe that you wear to the office, you know, my go-to would be the Italian soft leather, like just a really great napper. The reason why is because it is pretty durable. If they do get a bit of a scuff, which look, it's bound to happen. Um, it's something that you can usually, you know, do some work to so it blends in and it looks nice again. A patent leather is really durable and fantastic if you're gonna be in an environment where it rains a lot. They're, pretty waterproof. However, if you do scuff a patent leather or patent leather, um, that's not going to be repairable. So my go-to for that kind of everyday workhorse shoe that you're going to love would be an Italian soft leather or a Nappa leather. Next thing to think about is look at where each of those materials are on which parts of the shoe. So you can assess this on a shoe that you're pulling off the shelf, but if you're designing the shoe, this is some really nice kind of functional design information to think about. So I really consider things like you know, where are the high wear parts of the shoe? So for example, the heel is something that gets a lot of punishment traditionally and the toe as well, that toe cap area. So I would always go for something way more durable on those two places. So a Nappa leather, a Patton leather are the kinds of materials I'd put there. I would never put, you know, wrap a heel in like silk or velvet and those kinds of things because they're the really kind of porous, soft materials that are gonna take a little bit of a beating in those high wear areas. When I say that I would never wrap a heel in silk or velvet, I mean, not never. <laughs> so I would do it if it was a pair of shoes that I was wearing to an event or if it was a pair of shoes I knew I was gonna take really good care of. If you do want to use that really delicate material like a silk or a velvet or something like that, then really consider some pre-treatments. I have made a video on waterproofing your shoes. Particularly for silk, that's going to be super important to do. You're almost guaranteed to damage your shoes if you don't waterproof them ahead of time. Also really important for materials like suede as well. The other thing to consider is if you're going to work with a material that's delicate like a pony hair or a glitter maybe, these kinds of materials that are highly, highly textural with pieces, if you do scuff them, it's going to remove those pieces from the, uh, the leather or the, the material. Uh, so you, you need to just, again, be really cautious of not putting those in high wear areas on the shoe. So of course, there are a whole host of other materials that you can use to design with or a whole host of other materials to think about when you are picking a pair of shoes up off the shelf. But I hope these sort of small little insights with thinking about more durable materials and where they should be on the shoe for long wear and softer materials and how to think about wearing those has been helpful. I am going to make some videos that really talk about each of the materials in detail. So hopefully that will be helpful and give you more information that you might be looking for. But tell me, what are the pairs of shoes that you love that have really gone the distance for you? The ones that have just been amazing workhorses and still look fantastic. What were they made out of? Would you buy that again? Or what were the ones that damaged really fast and you felt a little bit disappointed? I would love to hear about it. If you're on YouTube, put your answers into the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you are watching somewhere else on the internet, please hit me up on Instagram. I would really love to hear about your experience with materials, shoes, and durability. Hope you're having a great week and don't forget, do everything before you're ready. Bye.